Hello children. We have done two units in science and today we have to tackle another lesson. What we have already done is a most essential thing in our life, air and water. Now today we are going to do beautiful celestial body. I'm sure all of you are interested. I'm sure all of you have been to the planetarium. Celestial body, the sky, what goes on, what goes round, what is present there, all of you are interested, isn't it? And that's what we are going to do today. The solar family. Which family we belong to in the solar family? What planet? Who can say? Yes, our earth, our wonderful earth. So today we are going to do the lesson, the most beautiful lesson, the most interesting lesson, the solar family. The most interesting lesson and I am sure none of you will sleep. Are you? Yes. Not only you, from the time man started looking up into the sky, they were so thrilled, so interested. What's going on? Night and day, something is moving. So, scientists constantly kept a watch, a close watch over the movements in the sky. What's going on? What's moving? What's coming? Why this and why that? The questions were always interesting for the scientists. It is science festival in Mohan school. Your school also has, no? Yes, remember. So now, Here's Mohan school. One astronaut took part in that gathering. Imagine an astronaut coming to Mohan school. Wow, it's quite thrilling, isn't it? Mohan shared all the information given by the astronaut through a letter to his friend. Now, who is this fellow astronaut? Who is he? A person who travels out into the space. Now, let us read Mohan's letter. Okay, dear friend, how are you? I hope you are working hard at your studies. I enjoy my science classes. Last week, we had a school science festival. Our chief guest was an astronaut. I felt proud that he was an Indian. He shared his experiences of being an astronaut. He talked about what he saw and experienced on, experience on his memorable space journey. We asked him questions about the solar system. He explained about the solar system through a slide show. He answered all our questions patiently and clearly. He said, you are the leaders of the future. So study well and become great persons in future. His speech was interesting and it, was motiv and it has motivated me to become a great astronaut like him. I am sending all information he had given us through along with this letter. Kindly share this with all your friends. With regards, your friend Mohan. So the letter Mohan sending you and here the letter contains all this. What is it? All the information given by the astronaut. Let's see now. How many planets are there? 8 or 9 or 10, tell me. Yes, there are 8 planets and many dwarf planets in the solar family. 
which is the dwarf planet Pluto is one of the dwarf planets now in the sky we can see numerous stars at night can you count them all certainly not hmm? the numbers are so many you cannot count the Sun we see every day is also a big huge star it is the nearest star to earth to our dear planet earth planets revolve around the Sun at different distances in different orbits now this we call the solar family the solar system okay now there are eight planets we said the first one is Mercury it is the smallest and the nearest to the Sun so can you imagine smallest and nearest to the Sun that means it will be very hot it will turn fast it takes short distance a shorter number of days smallest number of days to go around the Sun which is the smallest planet nearest planet and takes number of days to go around the Sun very few now the second one the second planet is the Venus they say it is a very hot planet it's a brightest planet in the solar system so Venus is the brightest planet and they say we can see this Venus with our naked eye no need of using telescope it's very easy to see third planet is the earth our own 